Okay, hello everyone. So, and here I'm on the way of assembling this deck. Uh, I was discovering a couple quite interesting things. So, assemble is easy, same way as we disassemble. Two screws here, two from the bottom. Remove the like, side panels and then just I can click from the sides and this panel will go out. Uh, I also was removing this uh, golden ring just to make sure I will not break anything. But all in all, it's straightforward procedure. Uh, and this top panel, it has six screws, two, four, and two here inside. And this panel, without this panel, your tape would not be going out because there is quite uh, sharp metal uh, sensors which sense metal and chrome and so tape and unless this thing installed they wouldn't be pushed out push it up so your tape would be easily going out all right so this consequences of this like automation for uh, tape type sensitivity what else like uh, i assembled and uh, without this cover i hear a lot of noise from the real motor wow what's up i was thinking more looking and it appears that uh, all these connectors which goes to the power control board here they don't have any ground wire any single ground wire which will be attached to the chassis so the only connection goes through these screws, okay? And that was the root cause. And additionally, that was the root cause. Remember, we've seen the uh, noise on one channel in the pose. Oh, we still have it. Let me disconnect. Ah, it's oscilloscope effects. That's the only deck I have seen when my oscilloscope <laughs> affects the output, really. You see? So, from this perspective, we should be good. From tuning perspective, I'm not sure. Probably I will need to use computer. Let me see. So, right channel. Let me disconnect my VTVM. Yes, it gets from VTVM. And it's effects, but I, I don't have idea why. Everything is nice and clear here. I never seen like any and the signal level is so low we barely can see it. It shows minus thirty here. Let's see minus ten, minus twenty, minus thirty, and it's uh, minus forty, minus forty five. So it would not affect our measurements. Anyway, I would need to check schematic to understand why. Why we can like affect so significantly levels. And I can hear on the headphones a little bit of this noise, statics. Oh, that's different. But guys, I'm really enjoyed. So the uh, manufacturing culture of this deck is uh, on the very high level. All important uh, ports for our the signal, this to like balance and level, they are have a long rods which goes to the back and there is a very short minimal distance between inputs and uh, the ports. And here is a CD direct switch. So here we have two inputs and here in the middle one output. And this is playback board, it's fully isolated. See, so record here with bias generator. Playback here, fully clear and fully isolated. And digital parts just here uh, on this board together with the display. There is a single control CPU and this is a power supply board and power transformer. So everything builds very, very, very good. I pretty much like it. <laughs> it's the only thing like this button gets from here uh, to there, you see? That's where a switch, power switch is located. And this uh, plastic rod 
goes through the deck <laughs> to the front panel here. Uh, not on this side, they for some reason decided to make it on the left side. All right, everything else, guys, really, I'm enjoying. Uh, with Sankyo tape transport, this deck build better than CR7. I would wish only like it has a better sound, really. Uh, so far, everything I've heard is clean, but for me, it's simple. I'm like used to bolts, nice, like really, like uh, volume in the sound. Like here is the volume in the sound so on so far. It's on pair on my GX9, maybe. Very nice, clean, really, really precise, but but it's it's simple. Same as with Technics, I'm not enjoying Technics sound. The same, I'm not enjoying the Tick sound. Yeah, so maybe 20 years ago it was uh, nice, but right now I'm not sure. Okay, now let me start adjustments. I have to pull up the service manual. Uh, to make sure that uh, I will follow the manufacturer procedure, but all in all, not too many adjustments. Here we have two pods, I believe it's for levels. Yeah, playback camp. They didn't make any assumptions. So R10, okay, right and left channel. There's two more pods. It's a meter. Yeah, okay, at least it's meter. So it's levels. It's a meter, it's easy. Uh, here we have, let me see how many ports. The only thing I adjusted is uh, Azimut. Azimut was off. Not much, but anyway, it's affecting sound. So, mid metal equalization bias for chrome for metal, separate bias for left right channel here. Uh, where is the record levels? Those one calibration port, just one, 400 gears and kilogears. So it's adjust between like half those two frequencies even. Uh, ah, here is a rec level right here. These two ports, okay. Interesting. I thought it much more sophisticated with uh, adjustments for the because it has separate level, separate bias adjustments. Oh yeah. Let me play with it a little bit more. Still, we'll take a look into the schematics. For example, record pause. Here we could in level. Oh, we're not recording yet. And why it's off on the source? How to start? Bias, so it's bias level. Okay. So here is the level. Okay. That's that's how it's off. Right here, left on nine. Yeah. Bias level again. Well, wow. just changing on the fly. Okay. Now, now it's good. Now boss works good, and now bias. Okay. And bias is, is different. So I would need to check left right channel bias so probably the reason. Levels now pretty close and bias of so again level bias level bias. Okay, we can calibrate, it's a good sign. Let me check uh, what's wrong with calibration. Okay. And I need to see what this button does. Uh, come on. 
That's the oh, it's MP MPX filter. Okay. This one calibration starts. So it would not start from here. Let me move this from the back. I no. Okay. Does it have a pause? Here is a big one. Pause. Oops. So this one. Record pause and calibration start. Start. Why it's not start? Okay, okay. I have to run it and then calibration starts so level by sorry and then we need to do stop again uh -huh. stop will turn off calibration mode okay let me see let me measure let me see what's wrong with it but I am not happy how the output affects the internal psychiatry. See you soon.